Hello, hello. Hello, Mirna. Hello, hello, teacher. Welcome. Hello, you're very, teacher. You're very punctual. Congratulations. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. Let me see. Uh, okay. I will copy your name in the attendance. Vamos a copiarle ya su nombre en la asistencia. Mirna Lopez, okay. right? Yes, Mirna, you're very constant. Yes. Congratulations. Eh, no se pierde las clases usted, sí. ¿verdad, Mirna? Congratulations. Let me see. Ah, gracias, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. And I like your al screen, right? Me gusta su... oh, al menos. <laughs> me gusta su pantalla. <laughs> el fondo de pantalla. Yeah, that's right, right? <laughs> yeah, so en el, en so el espacio. I, someone told me today how to do it, right? Se pone una cosita atrás, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ahí lo, lo tiene, solo se va a la, a la cámara. Y dice mm -hmm. elegir tu fondo virtual y ahí lo encuentra. <laughs> ok. Uh, I will have one of Jamaica. Vamos a agarrar uno de, de Jamaica para sentirme que estoy en la playa. <laughs> Porque de otra forma no se puede ir ahorita, ¿verdad? Sí. <laughs> ok, no, so let, let's begin. Solo virtual. Only virtual, yes. <laughs> ok, we're going to start with the review. Oh, eh, Mirna, let's give the chance to the others to incorporate, right? Vamos a dejar que los otros se vayan incorporando. So, in the meantime, we're going to start with the, with the review, right? Um, okay. Okay. So, yesterday we were learning about geography, right? So let's watch the video yes. again. Yes. Welcome, Gloria. Welcome. Yvette, welcome. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Okay, now let's watch the video again, right? Let's see. Okay. Okay, again, please. Beach. Desert. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake. Mountain. Ocean. River. Valley, volcano, waterfall. Okay, now we're going to see the commentaries. Mm -hmm. Karen, I suppose it's Karen Melende, right? Karen says, the beaches of El Salvador are very beautiful. Excellent. El Tunco Beach is full of tourists, yes. The desert is very hot. The mountain is the best place to rest. I like the mountains today. The Jehovah Valley is located in San Vicente. Nice. David Magaña. Mm -hmm. Let me see David Magaña. Eh, no lo tenemos en el grupo, David, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a leer el comentario. The volcano is very big. The waterfalls name... Niagara Fall in Canada are very famous, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, name is with D, right? Le faltó una, una D aquí nada más. Named, llamado, name, right? Okay, I need more commentaries, please. Yes, in the class, we are approximately 23 students, right? Somos 23 estudiantes aproximadamente. Okay, and I see only two commentaries. 
to comment, right? Eh, no importa que se equivoquen, ¿ok? Si hay una coma o algo así, lo corregimos, pero es para que, no para hacerlo sentir que, que no saben, no, no. Sino que la idea es que todos compartamos uh, cómo hacer correcciones e ir aprendiendo con lo que ustedes escriben, ¿verdad? Así que, por favorcito, more commentaries, please. ¿Ok? Now let's go to the other video, right? Review. Sigamos con el repaso. Which is larger? Ok. Okay. We're going to yes, yes. No se escucha el video. Ah, okay. Please. I'm sorry. Déjeme ver si corregimos eso. Give me a second. Espera aquí qué pasó. Okay. Stop me, please. Cuando algo suceda, deténganme. <ríe> ok. Hoy sí vamos a escucharlo. Listen and practice. Ok, now? Yes? Ok, thank you. Now, please. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, now we're going to practice. What's the long larger, China or Canada? The paper. Oh, I love geography. Okay, good. Now listen, please, and repeat. Listen and repeat. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger? China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm. I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. 
Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, I'm sorry, but this girl has zero, right? All the questions, all the answers are incorrect. Okay, now, listen. Uh, here we have uh, two forms of comparison, right? One is the comparative form, right? Yesterday I was telling you that um, when we compare, we have two things, right? Two things. Example of this is which country is larger, China or Canada? So we have one and two, only two, no more, right? And here is another comparative form, which I think one is, let me see, which country is more crowded? Yes, yes, more crowded. Monaco or Singapore. So in this case, we have two, right? Two. Now we have another form to compare. We have the superlative, superlative, right? And then for this, we have this question. What's the longest river in the Americas? Longest. Okay, so we're talking about all the rivers in America, right? All the rivers. So superlative, right? And here we have which South American capital city is the highest, the highest. La Paz, Quito, or Bogota. Notice that we have three. We have three, right? It's more than two. So when we have three, uh, it's like we say superlative, right? Okay, with this information, we're going to go to the class of today, but uh, we're going to learn about vocabulary. Uh, Okay, only one commentary. The China is larger than Canada. Mm -hmm. The river than the lar lar largest river of America, maybe, uh -huh, is the Amazonas, right? Um, the most developed country in Central America is Panama. Okay, so there are some corrections in this sentence, but Thank you for your commentaries. Now, let's go to the class of today. Let me see. We're going to start with the presentation, right? Uh, today, we're going to see only this video, right? Comparative adjective, okay? And remember that in Spanish is is easy, right? Or is easier than English, but because in Spanish we say only el río más grande o el río más pequeño, right? La montaña más alta, la montaña más baja, right? So in this case we use más o menos, right? In Spanish, but in English it's more complicated because they transform the adjectives, right? They transform the adjectives. And to start, we're going to go to the objective for today, right? Uh, Jose Perez, can you read the, the objective for the class, please? Uh, okay, okay, teacher, you can hear me? Yes. Yes, I okay. can hear you. Check it. By the end of this session, participants will know how to ask and answer questions using comparisons with adjectives. Thank you very much. So the comparisons in this case, right? With the adjective, nice. Okay, and we have a lot of information. To start, we're going to learn the vocabulary for today. Long, dry, the, famous, beautiful, good, and bad. Okay, those are adjectives. Adjective, right? Remember, adjectives are the ones that we use to describe people, places, and things, right? Good. Repeat after me, please. Long. Dry. Big. Famous. Beautiful. You can say beautiful or you can say beautiful. 
good, bad. Okay, so this is the, the main, the principal vocabulary for today, right? Now, what are comparative adjectives? What are comparative adjectives? We use, uh, sorry, uh, por ahí hay un, un micrófono encendido, please. <clears throat> okay, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, let's continue. Comparative adjectives. We use comparative adjectives to compare two people, two places, two things, two ideas, right? Uh, also, I can say two animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we have the example, right? Do you have these par sorry, these pants in a larger size, right? So we're talking about two sizes, dos tamaños, right? Huh? So one that is small and the other that is large, B, right? Good. I need shoes that are more comfortable, right? So we are comparing two pairs of shoes, right? Two things we can say, right? One that are not comfortable and then ones that are more comfortable. And the opposite of more is less, right? Uh, gloves, less expensive. So we have a pair of gloves that are expensive and we have a pair of gloves <clears throat> sorry, that are less expensive. So this is the comparative form of adjective, right? And also, when we're comparing two things, we use the word than. Okay, than. The suit is nicer than the one I'm wearing. So, que el otro, que el otro, right? These gloves are more expensive than the other ones, okay? So for the comparative, we use the word than. Now, what are the rules? Pay attention, please, pay attention. Uh, before to start with this uh, exercise, I have a question for you. How many syllables do we have in the word nice? How many syllables do we have in the word nice. Volunteers, please. One, two, three syllables. How many syllables? Yes. Two. Four syllables. Four syllables. Okay, who gives me more? Give me the mass. It's only one syllable. It's only one syllable, correct. <laughs> yes. yes, this is, I will tell you why. Because in English, uh, syllables are measured by sounds. Las sílabas son medidas por sonidos, yeah. no por letras, right? By sound. And notice the word nice, we say nice. Only one syllable, right? We don't say nice. Hey, you a, stu you a student, you are very nice. All right. It's only one. So in this case, the rule for the comparative is that the adjectives, listen, listen, the adjectives that have only one syllable, we are going to add the, the suffix er, el sufijo o las últimas letras, er, right? For example, small, how many syllables? One. One. Two. Oh no, one, one, listen, small. 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 One. Only one. Yes, because we don't say s. Mall, right? Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mall. <laughs> no, no, no. This is only in Spanish. Like when you go to to Almacenes Simán, right? ¿Y qué talla la quiero? La quiero a small. <laughs> okay? No, but the correct word is, listen, small. Only one syllable, right? Also, we have cheap. Cheap is the opposite of expensive, right? Cheap. cheap. So what do we do, class? We add the Suffix er, er, right? Small, smaller. The regular adjective, el adjetivo común y corriente, small. Pero si le agregamos la, el sufijo er, entonces vamos a decir es más pequeño que. Cheap. Mm -hmm. Es barato, pero si le agregamos er, vamos a decir es más barato que. ¿Ok? And I repeat, the comparative is only two. No more than two, only two things, right? Si nos pasamos de dos, 
se quiebra la regla. Tiene que ser dos siempre. Ok, now, what happens if the adjective eh, ends with E? Pero si ya el adjetivo termina en E, ¿cómo vamos a hacer? Large, for example. How many syllables in large? One. Large. One. One, one syllable. Loose, loose, flojo. One syllable. One syllable, right? Pero tenemos la salvedad que aquí termina con una E. So in this case, we only add R, right? Entonces solo vamos a agregar la R porque ya tiene la E, right? Okay. Lose, loser, right? Pero este no es perdedor. Perdedor es más corto el sonido. Loser, and this is loser, right? Okay, now what about if the adjective has two syllables but ends in Y? ¿Qué pasa si el adjetivo tiene dos sílabos? Dos sílabas pero termina en Y. They change. We change the Y to y I. R. Y to I. La Y por la Y latina. Right? Heavy. Heavy. How many syllables? Two, two syllables. Two syllables. Heavy. But it ends in Y. Pero como termina en Y, sale del, de la regla, ¿verdad? Pretty. Ok. So pretty, it's Two syllables again, but anything why. So in this case, we change the Y to I, and then we add ER. Le cambiamos la Y por la Y latina, y luego le agregamos el sufijo ER, right? Okay. Heavy, heavier, right? The elephant is heavier than a dog, right? El elefante es un poquitito, apenas un poquitito más pesado que un perrito, okay? And mm -hmm. pretty, prettier, right? Más bonita... Ok, uh, Santa Ana es más bonita que la ciudad de Guatemala. <laughs> ok, pretty period, right? Ok, now, in the special case that it has only one syllable, but it has the, the, the form consonant, vowel, consonant, ok? Si el adjetivo tiene una sola sílaba, pero tiene una fórmula bien especial que es una consonante, una vocal y una consonante, ¿ok? Le vamos a agregar una consonante extra. And then mm -hmm. instead of say big, say bigger, right? Hot. ¿Cuál es la última consonante? T. The T. So we double the T and say T, T. Hotter, right? When is that? When we have consonant, vowel, consonant. Para que no les cueste, hagan de cuenta que este es un sándwich. Y que la T y la H son el pan. <ríe> ok, y que en medio tenemos el jamón. <ríe> ok, so in that case, double consonant. Le doblamos la consonante. Veamos el ejemplo de chip. Uh -huh. Aquí hay dos vocales, entonces no aplica. Tiene que ser una sola vocal. Small, tampoco tiene más consonantes. ¿eh? Tiene dos consonantes al final, entonces no aplica. Tiene que ser una consonante, una vocal y una consonante. ¿Ok? Solo okay. acuérdense el ejemplo del sándwich. Y ahí no se, le va, no se van a perder. And finally, the regular forms. Good. Estos se salen del vocal. Good, better. Bad, worse. ¿Ok? Algo que es mejor y algo que es peor. Uh -huh. Ok. But use more or less with adjectives that have two or more syllables. Luego, con todos los demás adjetivos que tengan dos sílabos o más sílabos, right? Y que no terminen en I, griega. A eso les vamos a agregar la palabra more cuando sea más o less cuando sea menos. ¿Ok? Look expensive. How many syllables in expensive? Expensive. How many syllables? Three syllables. Three. Three syllables, correct. Yes. Comfortable. Comfortable. How many syllables? Three syllables. Three yes. syllables. So, como se pasa de los dos sílabos y no termina en Y, entonces le vamos a agregar more and less. Okay? Okay. Good. Those are the rules. What do we have to do is memorize, right? Memorizarnos la regla para no confundirnos. Recuérdense que este video va a, va a ser subido 
Y si quieren, también les puedo mandar esta presentación de PowerPoint al sí. grupo, si lo, así lo quieren. ¿Ok? Good. Now let's continue with more no examples, problem. right? Comparative adjective, the structure. Look. We have the subject, <clears throat> the verb, the comparative form, then and now, right? Example, right? Pupusas are cheaper than pizza. Notice that the adjective is cheap. Only one syllable, so we have ER, right? And then the subject is pupusa, the verb to be here, then and the now, right? Other example, right? Pandas are nicer than monkeys. Because nice ends in E, we have only R, right? Como nice termina en E, solo le agregamos la R. Okay? Elephants are heavier. Heavy ends with Y. So we change the Y to I, and we have ER, right? Elephants are heavier than dogs. Paris is better than Washington, right? And notice that this is the adjective good. So good, you don't say, it's gooder, <laughs> it's gooder. No, no. Incorrect. It's better because good is irregular, right? Mm -hmm. And finally, because comfortable has more than one syllable, it has three syllables, right? Y no termina en Y, entonces decimos more comfortable. Okay? Mm -hmm. More comfortable. Y si fuera menos, less comfortable, right? Less comfortable. Okay, now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Pupusas are cheaper than pizza. Pupusas are cheaper than pizza. Thank you. Good pronunciation, David. But let's turn off the microphone. Okay, thank you. Thank I you very much. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Realmente saben que me gustaría escucharlos a todos, pero... Lástima que no se puede, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, now. Pandas are nicer than monkeys. Elephants are heavier than dogs. Paris is better than Washington. A sofa is more comfortable than a chair. Okay, any question about comparative? ¿Todavía hay alguna duda ahí sobre los comparativos? Yeah, yeah, teacher. Yes, uh, yes, Jose Pérez, please, Jose Pérez. We need to must and, and more. Ah, well, eh, es sencillo, depende de la situación. Si usted quiere más, digamos, entonces escribe more. Pero si usted quiere menos, entonces less. Por ejemplo, um, I want a chair that is more comfortable. Me, me gusta más eh, las cosas que sean más cómodas. So we say more comfortable, right? Y less. Y less sería um, less, ¿qué adjetivo? Um, for example, uh, I don't know. Eh, Matemática is less important than English. Oh, I'm sorry. Teacher. Ok, quiere decir que eh, la matemática es menos importante que... No es así, da igual, es igual. Excuse me. No, 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 teacher, sorry, sorry. Teacher, I talking about... It's just I an example, right? Say, José, uh -huh. MCN is more famous than ECE, something like that. Ah, no, no, wait, José, wait. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Remember that we're talking about comparative. Todavía no hemos llegado al superlativo. Arson superlativo. Ah, Ajá, okay, yes. okay, okay. Remember, José, I say, right? Comparative is only two. Superlative is more than two. Okay? Ah, okay. Yeah, ya casi llegamos ahí. Okay. Now, Now I got sor it. Sorry about mathematics, right? I, I like mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes? <laughs> the, the, la, última, la última oración podría ser, entonces, eh, a child is less comfortable than... Perfect. Than less comfortable than a, than a sofa. Yes, correct? Mm -hmm. That's totally correct, right? Okay. And La tienda question? esa de pay less, pagar menos, va teacher. Pay less, yes. That, that's a suffix. Es que ese es un sufijo, este... Eh, ¿Quién me está hablando? José Magaña, ¿verdad? Exactly. José, ok, José. Less eh, quiere decir uh, menos, menos que. Menos. 
Ah, pero ese es un sufijo. No es, no es estru esta estructura que estamos viendo. Eh, no, 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 es, no, pero... Ah, sí, pero sí, es la sí, misma es idea. Es la misma Se idea. refiere a menos. Es la misma idea. Sí tiene toda la razón, ¿ok? Now, let's continue, please. Now, superlative. ¿Ok? Ahora sí vamos a los superlatives. Use superlative adjectives to compare. Listen, more than two. Ok, ahora sí, más de dos. People, places, things, ideas, and I say animals too, right? Because I like animals, right? Ok, for example, which projector is the cheapest of these three? Which brands are the most popular in your store? Ok, now let's review the, the rules, right? Ahora vamos a repasar las reglas, pero vamos a irle agregando eh, la regla de superlative, right? Cheap, en el comparative le agregamos ER, cheaper. But in the superlative, we don't, we don't add ER, we add EST, EST. And also we add the article THE. Ok? So all the superlative forms use the or the right the okay all and instead of use er en lugar de usar er vamos a usar est y de ahí todas las reglas son iguales igualitas okay if the adjective ends in e entonces ya tiene la eso le agregamos st right st si termina en y le agregamos y latina y luego est si el adjetivo tiene consonante, vocal consonante, le agregamos double consonant y luego EST, right? The biggest. Ok. Pero ¿qué hay si uh, el adjetivo tiene más de una sílaba y no termina en I? Entonces, en lugar de agregarle more constable, le vamos a agregar the most constable. Ok. The most portable, the least difficult. El más uh, cómodo, el más portable. Y lo opuesto, the least. El menos, the least, el menos, right? Solo que aquí no usamos than. En el superlativo no usamos than. Solo en el comparativo, ¿ok? Y nuevamente tenemos la forma irregular. Irregular form. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. ¿Ok? So we only have to memorize that. Solo que memorizar nuestras reglas y ya, ya la hicimos, ¿verdad? Ok. Any extra question? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you have questions? <laughs> Patricia? No. No, no, ok. That's it, right? It's okay. memory. <laughs> memory, yes, <laughs> it's only memorized. And Jose, remember now, we have the most, right? The most famous, the most famous English band, the Beatles, right? <laughs> okay, that's it. Now, let's go to uh, the structure, right? Ahora vamos a la estructura de los superlatives. Kia is the cheapest car of El Salvador, right? The cheapest. Aunque antes había una marca que se llamaba Cheri, Micherito, que era una, una fábrica de carros salvadoreños. ¿Ok? The cheapest. Now, notice that we always use the article the. The adjective cheap, and in this case we don't have ER, we have EST, right? Cheapest. No. Whales are the largest animal of the world. Tenemos oh, solo, solo dos ballenas en el mundo? No, ¿verdad? Hay un montón. Entonces, eh, de entre todos los animales, ellas, las ballenas, the whales, are the largest. Right? Como termina en E, solo le agregamos la ST. Okay. Right? La mierda me estaba yo peor en ti. Mm? I'm sorry. <laughs> Ok, Russia is the biggest country of Asia, right? Nuevamente, como es el adjetivo es consonante, vocal consonante, le doblamos la consonante y luego le agregamos EST, right? And, y en Asia, por supuesto, hay muchos países, right? Mongolia, 
eh, Thailand, India, etcétera, etcétera. De todos esos países, Rusia es el más grande. English is the most important language of the world. ¿Ok? Como tiene más de un solo, una sola sílaba, the most important, right? The most. Y si dijéramos lo contrario, diríamos the least. ¿Ok? Si en el comparativo era less, en el superlativo es least. Si en el comparativo era more, en el superlativo es most. ¿Ok? Questions? So it's time to make exercise, right? It's time to, to make questions. Okay, I'm going to start with, let me see. Um, Jose Magaña. Jose Magaña. Thank you, Jose, for your participation. Okay, told. <laughs> the comparative and the superlative, Jose Magaña. For um, told. Taller. Okay, spell it, please. T-A-L, uh -huh. spell it. Uh, T-A-L-L-E-R. Correct, the superlative, please. T A L L E S S E R sorry E S T, right? E S T. Again, T A L L E S T. Okay. Taller, tallest, right? Thank you very much. Now, uh, Betty Vasquez, please. Betty, can you help me with easy? Easy. It's not easy, Betty, but please try. The comparative. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, si no se lo sabe, pues no se preocupe, Betty. Vamos a ayudarle. But try. Intentémoslo. Easy. Le vamos a ayudar con la regla. La Y se la vamos a cambiar por I. I. Ajá, ok. ¿Cómo dice entonces? I. 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 Casi no le copio, Betty. Sería easy, e a s e a s Ajá. I. I, correct. e a s i D. Ajá, y solo le falta una letra, vamos. Sí. Mm, casi no le copié, Betty, pero vamos a ver, creo que dijo R, ¿verdad? Ok. <risa> E-A-S-I-E-R. De superlative, de superlative por Carlos, Carlos Cabrera, please. No, no, Carlos, no, Felipe, excuse me. Felipe. E A S I E S T. Perfect. Liberal. This is easy, right? Uh, for let me see. Blanca Lemus. Blanca, please. For liberal. Se pasa de dos. More sí, liberal. Ajá. Vamos a ver, Blanquita. Ok, me le va a ayudar entonces Gloria. Gloria, me le va a ayudar, ok. Gloria. Ok, liberal. okay teacher. <coughs> M. O R E L 
I B E R E L. More liberal, right? Okay, the superlative. You, if you want, only only mention the the superlative one, right? Without spelling, sin sin deletrearlo. Uh -huh. The superlative. Superlative. Sorry. I don't know, teacher. You don't know the superlative, right? Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, Jose the Magaña. most liberal. The most liberal. The most liberal, correct, yes. Now, heavy, heavy. Uh, Jose, Jose Perez, please. Jose Perez, can you help me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Diego. Teacher, what is the meaning? Heavy. 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 Pesado. Pesado. Okay. Then the box is more heavier uh -huh. than the liver. Okay. In other words, heavier, right, Jose? Heavy. Heavier. But listen heavier. to me. Omit more. Omit more, right? Es cierto que tiene dos sílabas, pero termina en, en Y. ¿Ok? Y cuando termina en Y, no le vamos a poner el more. Solo vamos a decir... Heavier. Heavier, right? Okay. Now, yes. the superlative, please, José. The superlative. Um, the car is most heaviest. Is the most heaviest, uh -huh, the most heaviest thing in the world. Okay, good. That's nice. Okay, unusual. Uh, Karen Melendez, please. Unusual. 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 Sleep, um, sleep, sleep, Joshua? No, no, no. Eh, no quizás por no. el tiempo no la vamos a deletrear, oh. pero vamos a ver. ¿Cuál sería? Uh, la, which one is the comparative? Please tell me. No, I don't know. Teacher. You don't know. The superlative? Mm -hmm. The most usual? The most, the most unusual. usual. The most mm -hmm. unusual, right? Pero si se puede superlativo, se puede el comparativo, Karen. Come on. Usually? No. Yeah. Eh, usamos more. la palabra more. More, more usually. More, more on usually. usually. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Yvette, please. Pretty. Yvette, ¿todavía está en clase? Yes, it's yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, come on, pretty. Ese sí necesito que me lo deletre. Okay. Pretty is pretty. 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 No, 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 no. Prettier, right? Prettier and superlative? Prettier. Prettier and prettier. Prettiest. Uh -huh. Prettiest. Spell it, please. Deletrelo para que todo se nos quede claro. Okay. One moment. Uh, it's quite, that's quite. <laughs> Prettiest. Okay. P R E T T. I E F T. Excellent. Prettiest, right? The prettiest. Really? That's nice. Okay, now. Eh, Katia Torres. Katia? Hello, Katia. Hi, teacher. Exciting. <laughs> well, I have not sure, but not, I'm don't going worry, to try. No, don't, do not spell. No spelling. Only say, right? Okay. Um, more exciting? 
more exciting, excellent. And superlative? No, superlative. Uh, and the most exciting? Perfect. That's nice. I like it. Okay, okay. let me see who's next. Uh, Mirna Lopez. Mirna, please. Yes, Wild. teacher. Wild. Salvaje. Wilder. <laughs> excellent. And superlative? Uh, the wildest. The wildest. My goodness. You know the rules. And who's next? Roxana Mendez. Roxana, please. Informal. Roxana? Esa no se la sabe. Le voy a dar con el comparativo. Usted me dice el superlativo. More informal. More informal. Ahora usted dígame el superlativo. More informal. Ok. Le vamos a dar tu ayudadita. El superlativo siempre cuando es más de dos sílabas, vamos a usar most, de most. Ah, entonces, ¿cuál sería? De most informal. De most informal, correct, right? Danny, Mr. Sandoval, please. Interesting. More interesting. Eh. And... The most interesting. Okie dokie. Conservative. <laughs> Patricia Morales. Okay. That's the okay. more conservative. No, no. The more no. More conservative. More, oh, sí, perdón. Uh -huh, more yes. conservative. Y, y most conservative. Uh -huh. In this case, the most, right? Uh -huh. More conservative. The most y the conservative. Most. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Example. The most conservative teacher. Y en inglés corporativo es the teacher Javier Gómez, right? <laughs> ok. <laughs> Light. Suave. Bofito, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? No, no es pesado, right? Oscar Martínez. Hoy no me ha participado Oscar, así que vamos a preguntarle. Light. Is, is liar. Lighter, right? Liar. Elias. No, no, lighter. Lighter. Ajá, uh, the T. Lighter. Lighter. Liar is eh, abogado, right? <laughs> no, 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 espero que no haya abogados en el grupo, sorry. Liar, right? Liar. And y, superlative? Y el... Liar. Oh, oh, sorry, José. No, no, sorry. <laughs> Most, right? La, la mayoría, hay algunos honrados. <laughs> Pero usted no. <laughs> no, no, please, come on, don Bimín, no sean malvados con José. Ok, please. Eh, Oscar. The superlative, please. The lightest. The lightest, the lightest, the lightest. right? The okay, lightest. and to finish, casual, more casual, the most casual. Comfortable, more comfortable, the most comfortable. Relaxing, more relaxing, the most relaxing. Long, longer, the longest. Short, shorter, the shortest, right? Solo una preguntita acá en el 17. ¿Le doblamos la T aquí? ¿Yes or no? Yes. Recuérdense. Acuérdense del sándwich. No. Una no, consonante, no. una vocal, no, una no, consonante. Aquí no. veo dos consonantes, ¿ve? No, no se le dobla, right? Shorted. Ok, now. Scary. Boo. Ay. Scary, right? Scary. Scarier, yes. S-C-A-R-I-E-R -E and the most scariest. S-C-A-R-I-E-S-T. The most scary, right? Lo más espantoso, lo que más asusta. <laughs> Ministerio de Hacienda. Uy, uy. The mother Seguro in, social. Seguro <laughs> The mother in love, the monster in love. <laughs> okay, now, uh, any question? And we, we have another exercise here, but no more time, right? Aquí hay otro ejercicio, pero quizás se los voy a dejar para que lo practiquen en casa cuando les envíe el PowerPoint, right? Okay, now let's go to the, to the, uh, sorry, sorry. 
let's go to the to the platform. Let's go to the platform today and let's go to the conversation, which is larger. Uh, this is comparison, right? Okay, let me check. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative, long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus then plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the, plus superlative adjective, plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples? He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Let's see, we have commentary, right? The Ilamatepec volcano. Uh, Ilamatepec volcano is the, the volcano of Santa Ana, right? Santa Ana volcano, Ilamatepec. The Ilamatepec volcano is higher than the Chaparrastique. That's correct. Santa Ana is more crowded than Sonsonate, yes. Uh, which is the longest river of El Salvador? Uh, sorry to tell you this, but we cannot change here, right? El nombre este no lo podemos cambiar. Los nombres propios no se cambian en inglés. So El Salvador, right? Guascorán, Torola, and I suppose it's Lempa River, right? Lempa River, uh -huh. Ah, and Peace, El Río Paz. Okay? So, it's a good commentary. Now, to finish, we're going to go to the knowledge check, right? 
knowledge check. Okay. Now, complete the questions one to five with comparative and question six to ten with superlative. One to five, comparative and six to ten superlative, right? Mm -hmm. Which country is small? Okay. Now, small. small has only one syllable, right? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, ahora saben que regla vamos a aplicar, right? Which waterfall is high? Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? Uh, again, it's comparative. We have two, right? Only one syllable. Solo tiene una, una sílaba, right? Uh, de acuerdo al video, hablaba de short and long. Adjective, right? Adjetivos cortos y adjetivos largos. Ok. Mm -hmm. So this is short. O oh, si quieren verlo de otra forma, tiene una sola sílaba, right? Crowded. Aquí sí hay dos sílabas y no tiene Y. Por lo tanto, ya saben que vamos a usar en los comparativos, ¿ok? Large. Solo tiene una sílaba, ¿ok? Famous. Famous. Dos sílabas. Se pasa de la raya, ¿verdad? Entonces, le vamos a poner la regla que ya saben. ¿Cuál es? And, Which is, don't say, shh, it's a secret, right? Now we have three. Entonces aquí de las seis en adelante superlativo porque ya son más de dos. Y aplica la misma regla. High es una sílaba. Long es una sílaba. Expense is more than one syllable. Deep is only one syllable. Dry. Ok. Aquí si no aplica el... El caso de la, de la pretty, heavy, porque, um, déjeme ver, es solo una sílaba, ¿verdad? Driest. Driest. The driest, correct? The driest. Ok. Good. Now, any question about the, about this part? No. No? Ok. No. Supongo yo que ya lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero si no, ahí estoy a sus órdenes para las preguntas. ¿Ok? Eh, como les digo anteriormente, prefiero que me las hagan al grupo. No estoy diciendo, no me vayan a mandar ninguna pregunta al personal. No, no, no. Pueden hacerlo. Estoy a sus órdenes. Pero a veces es mejor que todos compartamos los mismos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Así es. Sí, es sí. un poquito más fácil. ¿Ok? No, y además, a, además tenemos a veces la misma dificultad la y eso nos correcto. ayuda. Entonces, eh, si Blanquita tiene una duda y José Magaña tiene la misma duda, entonces uh -huh. nos ayudamos un poquito más en el grupo, sí. ¿verdad? Ok, y a veces pues que no les puedo contestar inmediatamente, ¿verdad? Pero yo ahí estoy pendiente siempre del, del grupo, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you very much, thank you very much. Now... Um, Ah, we still have three minutes. Todavía tenemos tiempo para hacer... Para una... la lista. Uh, no, ya pasé la asistencia. ¿Ah? Ya pasé la asistencia. Vamos a ver. Ah, pues a, a mí no me chequeó. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Betty Vázquez, Blanca Lemus, Felipe Linares, Gloria Palma, José Magaña, José Pérez, Karen Meléndez, Ivette Siliesar, Katia Torres, Mirna López, Roxana Méndez, Dani Sandoval, Patricia Morales, Oscar Martínez. A ver si me, se me olvidó alguien. No. No. Ángel. Ángel. I'm sorry, Ángel. Ángel. Sí. Yes, Ángel. Thank you. Thank you. Todavía nos queda tiempo de ver un ejercicio, así es que los voy a molestar porque quiero que esto nos quede claro. Let me see. Uh, yes, this one. Let me see. Um, aquí estamos con este ejercicio. Listen, please. Complete each sentence with the comparative or superlative. Ajá. Volunteers, number one. Veamos, ¿quién se anima? That dinner was delicious. Mm. More delicious. Ajá. How many, Gloria? ¿Cuántas comidas? ¿De cuántas com comidas estamos hablando aquí? 
Recuerden la regla. Recuerden claro, la regla. Si, si son más de dos, es superlativo. ¿De cuántas comidas estamos hablando en toda la vacación? ¿Será que en no. toda la vacación hizo solo dos comidas? No. No, hizo más, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál sería? ¿The dinner was? The Delicious. Se Delicious. pasa de dos. Se pasa de dos. Y no more tiene Y. Sorry. Mm -hmm. more de the, no, more no. More no. More, more is comparative. Delicious. Ah, the most ah, delicious. The most delicious. The most delicious. Uh -huh. Ok, next one. This scanner is definitely good. The other one. Ah, quiere decir que son dos scanners. Volunteers, algún voluntario? Better. 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 This scanner is better than, ahí sí agregamos la palabra than, ¿verdad? Than, other, other one. one. Ok, good. Now, yo creo que esto se refiere a uno, ¿verdad? Sí. EQ, EQ, mi teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Este, estoy lleva. Estoy ahí, Mirna. Yo estoy con la duda si lleva, como es, better, mm. lleva than o no. Vaya, pero permítame, eh, déjeme compartir traducirlo. Este escáner es el mejor que otro o mejor que todo. ¿Cuál sería aquí la traducción? Mejor que el otro. Que el otro. Mejor que el otro, ¿verdad? Sí. Que el otro. Vaya. sí. Eh, uh, entonces contesto su duda. Cuando es comparativo vamos a usar dan. dan. Y en superlativo no vamos a usar dan. dan. Ahora bien, el artículo da al principio del adjetivo lo usamos solo en el superlativo Ve, vea los dos ejemplos the dinner was the most delicious meal this scanner is better than other one ok vamos a ver con el tercer ejemplo si se animan, ya casi terminamos creo que es el último que vamos a ver the Caribbean cruise is the most relaxing the most relaxing of our vacation package, right? Ok, good. Uh, pregunta, ¿quieren que les envíe la presentación de PowerPoint para que ustedes terminen los otros ejemplos? Y sería posible que nos mandara lo que son las reglas, teacher, por favor. Ah, sí, aquí mismo están. Por... Aquí mismo están, eh, ya se las enseño. Let me show you. Ok, give me a second. Aquí están, ok, look. Aquí aparecen las reglas, ¿ve? Cuando okay. es un sílabo de una sola sílaba, o como dice en el video de la plataforma, eh, los short adjectives, ¿verdad? Vamos a agregarle ER. Si termina en E, la R. Si tiene dos sílabos, pero termina en Y, le agregamos I, le cambiamos la Y por I latina y le agregamos ER. Si tiene la forma de consonante, vocal consonante, acuérdese el sándwich. El sándwich. Ah, correct. Le agregamos la otra consonante. Ajá. Luego ER. Y tenemos dos formas irregulares, good y bad. ¿Ok? En los demás le agregamos okay. more o less. Y en los superlativos. Aquí están los ejemplos. En los superlativos, aquí está la regla. Eh, en lugar de agregarle ER, le agregamos EST y le vamos agregando a todos el artículo DA. Um, y en lugar de decir de mu, eh, MORE, le decimos de MOS. ¿Ok? Most. Y cuando es menos, okay. de mí. Ahí están todas las reglas. Yo se las mando, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. You're welcome, you're welcome. So, any extra question? No, teacher. No. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>